Hi, Arya Trap Senior, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we spoke with Gorn. And he told us about an ogre that he made a deal with to get him the sign of Earth named Thogren. But once Thogren received the sign of Earth, he decided to keep it for himself. So we had to go out and teach Thogren a lesson and retrieve the sign of Earth back to Gorn. And that is what we did. And today, it's over here. Vivian Lagrave. So we have a, have a little chat with this person. I think this is for a dungeon quest. Hello. Thank you for coming, Flake Fury. This is this place is not without dark charm, but it lacks the amenities of the apothecarium. Enough with the pleasantries to business. Yes. It's like this. Uh, she wants us to get us the lost Thunderbrew recipe in Cargath. It is rumored that the dark iron curly black breath has stolen a recipe for ale. This ale, Thunderbrew Lager, is said to be infused in Byra with great strength and courage. We wish to study this drink, perhaps. We will find it other applications for its virtues. Applications more in line with forsaken objectives. Delve into Black Rock Depths. Find Hurley. Take from him the recipe of th for Thunderbrew Lager and bring it to me. And to find him, you may have to entice him by threatening his precious ale. Alright, well that's a cool quest. Thing is, we most likely will not do it because it is a dungeon quest, which is a shame. But we'll keep it in our logs just in case we ever do dive into Black Rock Depths. It's a great dungeon, probably one of the best dungeons in World of Warcraft, even though it is very big, long to finish, it takes a long time to finish, and it uh, it's kind of confusing. When you're trying to walk around it for the first time. But I've been through there so many times that I have it down pat now. But, uh, yeah, it also has a bar in it. Bar with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of these, these dwarves. These dark iron dwarves. And, uh, it's pretty cool. And you can get the, the bars stirred up. And get them all to fight each other. Pretty cool. Not a bad, not a bad dungeon. It's pretty cool how they made. Uh, they put so much effort into into the game back then. Like there is probably not a dungeon even close to that length anymore, which is kind of crazy. But we are now in a, a new zone. Called the Burning Steps, I believe. Or is it Searing Gorge? Might be Searing Gorge, I think. Yeah, Searing Gorge. Burning Steps is just south from here. And we are going to do uh, some more quests. Gotta watch ourselves for these Dark Iron Dwarves. I think we're gonna be fighting these guys a lot. More often, that's for sure. But yeah, let's check out this new zone. Got a lot of quests to do here. We also have the Black Rock Mountain right ahead of us. Probably see a lot of 60s running to and from the mountain. So we gotta keep our eye out. Probably going to get ganked by some level 60s while we quest as well. And I need to find a quest giver here. That'll uh, give us a quest to do. I think they're all to the north. Oh my gosh, see this? This is what I was talking about, guys. An alliance raid. See that? That's how the alliance get in. It's a 40-man raid running in to uh, Black Rock Mountain. And the reason why they do that is because they have world buffs, right? And if they run in... As a full raid, there is a good chance that they'll get in without losing their world buffs than if they went in one by one. But um, yeah, there's some guys that are kind of taking their time here. Oh, looks like this warrior wants a, pr wants a problem with me, but I guess we'll have to deal with him. He's charging us. Okay. Alright, buddy. We're gonna heal up. I got blinded. Oh, no, I didn't. 
All right, well, see, that's what I'm telling you guys. See, level 60. Taking us out. Not surprised. And this is where they come from. Thorium Point. That's where they all uh, meet up. So, we're probably going to take some, some deaths while we're here, but... I think it'll be worth it. After we finish the quests. <laughs> it's too bad that warrior uh, had a hunter friend. Because I think we would have been able to get away from him. I did have a root up on him, so... If that hunter wasn't there, we would have got away. Maybe he's getting revenge for the level 57 warrior that we took out last episode. Okay, look at all these alliance guys just going in. Going into the mountain. Tons of them. Okay, we gotta watch ourselves. Oh my gosh. Don't... They don't got time for us. They gotta get in the mountain. It's good. Let's run away here. We'll try to go to this camp. Who's this guy? He looks like a DK. His name's Human Paladin named Dark. DK Strider. Wanna get rid of him? We're going to war. Ooh, who's he gonna attack? Who's he gonna attack? Who's the heavy war golem gonna attack? None of us? Okay, he chose me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lay on hands, boys. We got hit with the we got hit with the lay on hands. Look at he's laughing at me now. We're just having some fun out here at the Paladins. At least we got his lay on hands, right? That's what it's all about. Is he still chasing me, dude? I wonder if he's thinking about catching me. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, he's gonna get full... <laughs> he's getting full health, full mana. Wonderful mount up. See if he, he finds out where we are. Look at him. <laughs> We're having some fun here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Balans are tough to fight in world PvP. He's really trying to find me. Oh, there's another priest. Nope. Oh, I think that's his friend. He was waiting for him. He almost got jabated to a to a 2v1. So let's get out of here, go back, try to find some quests to do. But yeah, it's a good zone. It's going to be a lot of PvP. Which is something I enjoy. The thing is, I haven't been... I've never really quested here, so it's kind of all new to me. I never... Never quested here on my warrior. Mostly to dungeons at this level. So, this is all new to me. I've got a warlock there, dude. Level 60. Level 60 warlock. Alright, here we go. Caloran Windblade. Let's have a chat with him. Hopefully the 60 Warlock leaves me alone. King's honor, friend. Divine Retribution. Hear my tale, adventure. Listen to Caloran Windblade tell his story. Be careful. Greetings. Tell me what drives this vengeance. My father was slain by the filth that inhabits the cauldron. My pleas for assistance to the Stormwind Magistrate fell on deaf ears. Nay, they want not to admit that this part of the world even exists, let alone send their precious military to administer justice. I seek vengeance, Torn. Plain and simple. Is there a more passionate cause in this world? Continue, please. As you can see, I am but one man with the lumbering oaf of a squire. The might of the dark iron dwarves and the beasts held in the grip of Ragnaros would surely overwhelm me alone. But I have the utmost confidence that such a brave and ambitious adventurer such as you would have no problem handling the denizens of the cauldron. 
Should you choose to assist me, I shall reward you with riches and wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Let me confer with my colleagues. Oh, honor, friend. Well met. All right. Well, there we go. Have you heard enough? Are you prepared to act? The flawless fame, flame. You have made the right decision, Plague Here We must strike where we will do the most damage. The four sentry towers. With the four towers in flames, we can initiate an offensive before they have time to react. You will need a proper tool to set the towers ablaze. To make the tool requires some materials. Bring me four hearts of flame and four golem oil, and I shall craft the torch of flawless flame. The golems and elementals in these lands should be your first target. You have to collect four hearts of flame and four globes of golem oil and return them to Caloran Windblade. And you will receive one gold. Okay, well, there we go. Looks like we're helping the Alliance. Seems like the Horde and the Alliance are grouping up again to defeat Ragnaros. I always find that interesting. It's a common theme in WoW, where the Horde and the Alliance group up together to defeat a common enemy. I think it just happened in the current expansion against the Soth. There we go. We already got Golem Oil. So that was pretty good. So I guess we'll keep trying to find those uh, Magma Elementals. So let's get on our mount here. Maybe these heavy war golems have the golem oil. Here's an inferno elemental. Gotta watch ourselves though. Might get ganked. You think these this like little pit of fire would uh you know would hurt me, but it seems to not do any damage. There we go, Heart of Flame. Wow, this is a really, uh, really easy quest. Well, it seems easy. Let's check out this War Golem, see if they drop the oil that we want. The problem with fighting all this stuff is they, uh, they don't, um... Damn, I want to give this guy some buffs. I'm going to go give him some buffs after this. He's kind enough to give me some buffs and a, and a hod, so... Got to return the favor. Let's buff ourselves up first. Try to find him. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are coming back. Okay, well, here we go. Let's buff up these shamans. I think this is the priest, right? I'm not sure. Here we go. So let's roll out. We'll look for more of these. Uh, seems like we have to find some elementals. They seem to be dropping the hearts of the flame and the golem oil. They seem to be hanging out in these... I guess you could call them lava pits. There's a magma elemental right here. For some reason I can't get fairy fire on these guys. Don't know why. I wonder what was this way. Where those pal, where that paladin and priest were going earlier. Also, I should probably get a, a flight point at Thorium Point. There is a flight point there. That I haven't got. So I'll probably get that later. There's Henry. See if he's got any buffs on him. No, nope. his name's Heeny. Heeny the Paladin. It's so rolling into Black Rock Mountain alone. Very brave. Let's check out this Inferno Elemental. 
see if he has any. Leave the materials we require. Mostly horde here now, like for leveling wise. There's another heart of flame. Let's check out this magma elemental. Yeah, I think this is a decent zone to level in. The mobs aren't above level 50, but they are in the high 40s. This guy looks like he's a multi-boxer. Oh, we got an enchant. That's one thing you have to watch out for when you're going in as a 40-man raid. Are multi-boxers. They uh, do a lot of damage and they can wipe an entire raid. If they do their uh, AoE Arcane Explosion combo. Combined with Holy Nova. It's pretty lethal. And it's a terrible feeling when it happens. Let's get rid of this egg magma elemental. Oh, we got a level 55 here. He wants to fight. He's a warrior. Typical. He's doing a lot of damage. So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna, gonna brood him. We're gonna heal up here. Let's keep healing. A nice stun. We'll stun him. We gotta kite him for a bit. Gonna need some mana. Let's run away from him for a second. Get full energy. Put a little hold because he resisted the fairy fire. Let's run away again. Got a little bit of rage. He's gonna try to finish us here. Let's run away a bit. Nice lightning strike. He's trying to get enough rage. Oh, got enough rage. Get away! Oh, he hamstringed us. Get him, get him! Got him! Yeah! Sorry, Mr. Warrior. You don't have the movement speed of the druid! It was pretty awesome how we used our six demon bag and got that chain lightning on him. Yeah, join this zone. A lot of uh, a lot of PvP going down, and we fighting a lot of a lot of warriors. Seems like I was like the second warrior to attack me. Haven't fought a warrior in a while. Oh, we got a little 47, 49 night elf. Oh, he's gonna get smoked. Look at that. Oh, got another druid out here. That was level 60 though. It's not that. That doesn't look too fair. But he's got my back, so I, th I think he's got my back. I think I'm safe to take out this uh, Infernal. There we go, another Heart of Flame. We almost have all the Heart of Flame that we need. I'm going to... Uh, Go to Thorium Point, though. I think it's a good time to get the Flight Point, maybe. Maybe we'll do that after. After we turn it in. Turn in the quest. We'll, uh... Go to Thorium Point. Get the Flight Point there. And then we'll maybe take a flight. What's this Druid doing? Look how weird that is. You tell the game's bugged. The guy's doing... He's running backwards. It's pretty weird. There we go, we got a couple magma elementals here. They, these guys dropped the golem oil for me one time. For some reason, I always miss my fairy fire now. That sucks. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can hit these guys with fairy fire. Okay. Another heart of flame. So we're done with the heart of flame. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. 54 warlock. I think we can take him out. Oh, he mounted up. Let's see if he gets in a battle. No. Now ah, he's going to get away from that guy. For some reason, all the alliance are going that way. There's the 49 hunter. He looks like more of a... He's actually taken out a magma elemental. It's just... One of the... One of the mobs we're trying to farm, so... I kind of don't want him to kill that. I really don't want him to kill that. You're not killing it! It's mine! It's all mine! That's right. No golem oil for you, Mr. Hunter. Hopefully he doesn't spawn back and take me out. The thing about night elves is they can, uh... They have, uh, increased movement speed when they, uh... You know, he's gonna attack me 100%. So we gotta just go at him. I'm just gonna go at you. Going at you, big boy. Nice fear. Beautiful fear. Beautiful fear. But wasn't enough. Problem was with the fear is his pet kept attacking me. So knocked got me out of the fear. He needed me to get a full fear there. Now these uh, Dark Iron Taskmasters messing with me. We got some more alliance just around the corner. A, there's DK Strider. I think we'll go this way. It's, it's a 2v1 2v1 combo. These dark iron guys, they really don't they don't give up. Okay, so let's heal up here. Oh, they're coming. It's time for us to stealth. Because, uh... How did I get knocked out of, uh combat. It's kind of weird. Maybe me and this warlock could have a battle with uh, the paladin and the priest. That would be pretty good. I'm going to fight this war golem though. Where's that hunter again? I wonder if he'll fight me if I'm just sitting here like this. Let's see. Look, he's coming. He's coming, he's coming. Where's the warlock? Oh, no. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming for me. This is hilarious. Look, he's coming with me. The warlock's right here. Showing the warlock. Getting attacked by a hunter pet. I don't think he's gonna help me, though. Will he help me? Will he help me? Nice, he helped me. I knew it. So I'll take on the pet. The warlock can take on the hunter. Oh, okay. Now we're going to go help uh, the warlock here. I wonder if he's still chasing him. Did he get him? There he is. Oh, he's got full of dots. He's done. See? Got you baited. Purple arrows got you baited. Yeah. Just knew that was going to happen. Feel sorry for purple arrows. He's having a rough day. He's getting slain out here. The Searing Gorge. Another solid stone. Not too shabby. Not getting too much of this golem oil. Assume these heavy war golems uh, drop it. So I guess we'll keep go for him a bit more. But yeah, he gets night elves uh, get back to their bodies faster when they die because they turn into wisps. The whips are uh, pretty fast. There's a 90, 49 dwarf row. Let's see if he stealths up. Okay, clearly this dwarf rogue's coming to fight me. 
I know what it's like to be a, a stealth class. Oh, look at him. He got on me. Okay, maybe this warlock will help. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of this, and I'm gonna stun. And I'm gonna run away and heal. He has to take me out a certain amount of time. Okay, he blinded me. Oh, he's gonna... Not bad. Not bad. Gotta get a re-stealth. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna run away and he stuns me. Not bad. Gotta finish me here, though, pal. Okay, here comes my stun. And then I run away. See you later. And that's the end of you. Oh, nice grenade. Nice grenade. Come on, dude. You gotta attack. Ooh, okay. Whoa. This rogue's trying so hard, dude. Later. Oh, he just gave up. Nice job by the rogue. Oh, the hunter's back. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I can run away from both, dude. This is getting rough out here. Let's keep running here. We're low on mana. Thing is, I can't run away from his pet. Nice stun. I don't have a lot of mana. I'm getting attacked. Maybe this motorboater guy can help me. This is hilarious, dude. Get him! That's right! Get him! Take him down! There we go. Well, that's what happens when you mess around with the horde, guys. That guy's gonna try to get me. 100%. He's been hunting for me. I think he even hired that rogue to take me out. But uh, we have a keen eye, you know. Keep our eye out. We've been using this warlock as our guard. Whenever we get in trouble, like, just go to the warlock. He fears them away. Alright, well, uh, let's keep looking for golems here. This hunter's not giving up, so it's war now. Between me and the hunter, that's for sure. If I ever see him, it's, uh, it's kill on sight. I think he uh, thinks the same. So let's see if we can get uh, some stuff from this magma elemental. The flawless flame. Is that it? That's what we're trying to accomplish. Try to get some golem oil. For some reason, these golems never give out any oil. So I just, last time I got golem oil was from these magma elementals. We got an elemental fire. That's pretty big. Those used to be very expensive. And they usually are at the beginning of a, a classic launch. Oh, maybe he took res sickness, guys. I think the, I think that night elf hunter might have taken res sickness. See, his body just disappeared, but he didn't res. It's kind of interesting. Golem will give us some golem oil. But yeah, that was a really nice grenade by that rogue. I was running away. Really nice grenade. Almost got me. That was like a sliver of health. I wonder if that warlock's getting attacked. Yeah, there's a lot of PvP here. I like this zone. Full of PvP. And it's not just like level 60s ganking you, you know. It's it's people around your level, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. I wonder if these guys even did me golem oil. There we go, so they do. Just had to ask. There we go. We got our first golem oil. Let's keep attacking these war golems until we get 
two more of these golem whales. Seems to be a lot here, so. I wonder what's over here. I wonder if there's like an alliance town or something. Maybe we'll go check that out. I remember the priest and the paladin went over there. All right. Let's take a trip. I think it's nothing over there. I think it's just the other side, to be honest. I don't think there's like a... I think Thorium Point is the... the main location where the like, Alliance... comes from. When it comes to Black Rock Mountain. I wonder what happened to that rogue. Just disappeared. Never seen him again. But yeah, we'll check it out. Still got some time on our buffs. Just want to see what's over here. I think it just brings us to the other side. The thing is, we've been over here, like right here at that little entrance between the mountain. That's how we came from there to get to uh, Kargath. In the Badlands. There's some tempered war golems. I wonder if they give us. Uh... So there we go. There's the Stone Through Pass. I wonder where that brings you. Stone Through Pass. Probably brings you to Loch Madan. That's my guess. Loch Madan. So I guess we'll just go back. I haven't been through that pass. Probably check it out. Probably be an interesting place to be, uh, like a gank spot. If you want to gank players walking through there. Only thing is, you'll most likely just see people who are leveling walk through there. Rarely have I ever uh, walked through there as a as a horde player. Maybe as alliance you would. Oh, there's another magma elemental. Let's see if he's got any golem oil. It's weird how I got Golem Oil from this guy. I find that kind of weird. It seems like these Magma Elementals drop both Heart of Flame and the, and the Golem Oil, so... I'm sure you target these when you're doing this quest. They seem to be all over the place. Got some coal this time, though. Seems like the Alliance have slowed down a bit. Haven't really seen any of them. For quite some time. Come on. Is that it? Jethery. Good old Jethery. The human rogue. Let's have a battle with Jethery. I think Jethery's... This is going to be kind of fair. I like. Not really. Oh, come on, Jethery. You can take me out. Jethery's running away. He's got two seconds. We're going to prop sprint. Let's see who's faster. Me as a kitty? Or a rogue with sprint? Seems like a rogue with sprint is faster than a cat. That's so weird. Don't you think that's messed up? A rogue with sprint is faster than a, a feral druid, a cat druid with dash. That honestly makes no sense to me. I think he'll be back, though. He'll try to take me out. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I think, I don't know. Especially since I have, like, talents that make me run faster, too, outside in the wild. It's 
really weird. That was a nice uh, gouge. It's the ability used on me to get away. Rogues always have a... They always have an escape plan. It's one of the benefits of playing a rogue. They're a lot of fun in world PvP. It's a class you're interested in playing. In like, big battle world PvP, like 40 on 40, they kind of suck. Because that's dominated by range classes. Because like, any melee class that goes in during like a 40 on 40 battle, it just gets destroyed by all the AoE going down by the range classes. But, um... Oh, we got a level 60 Night Elf Hunter here. I wonder if this is that other... Imagine that's the purple arrow hunter. Like, he just has like two hunters. Oh, I doubt it. Gotta watch out for that guy. <laughs> but yeah, rogues in like melee classes, they do a lot better in like 2v2, <coughs> 3v3 environments. Anything over 10 is like kind of crappy for a melee class. Okay. Well, we're not getting any golem oil. Seems to be the material that is hard to get. Which I don't mind. Because I get to uh, take these golems out and just keep getting XP. It's a shame that all the PvP is done. Though. There we go. Now we just need one more golem oil. Maybe this guy will have it. I think this guy will have the final golem oil that we need. Get him. And there we go. We got our final golem oil. Just gotta speak it into existence, guys. Oh, it looks like some uh, that fire elemental has chased somebody there. Don't know who. But they seem to might have uh, popped stealth. Must have been chasing somebody. Just didn't get to see him. So let's go turn this quest in and then we'll uh, make our way to Thorium Point. And then after that, we will uh, go over to Cargath. Or this guy's going to leave us alone. Oh, wow, these guys really chase you down. Okay, there we go. Let's have a chat with Caloran Windblade. Need help? Have you collected the materials? Well done, Flight Carrier. We are almost ready. Well, it looks like we have another quest called Forging the Shaft. Light bless you. I think eventually we will check that out. First, you must journey to Thorium Point. Hopefully we do not get slain. Got a decent amount of XP for that. 4,400. Not too shabby. And we are five bars away from level 54. Which is nice to see. We're slowly but surely getting to 60. We're almost, uh... Almost 55. Oh my gosh, it's Twilight Guard. Jeez. These guys don't mess around. Why is he, like, guarding so hard? I'm trying to go to Thorium Point, pal. Give me a break. I think, uh, I think this is the way to Thorium Point. So you can tell I don't go to Thorium Point too much. More of a Cargath guy. kind of an alliance spot in uh, phase one and two at the beginning of classic wow a lot of people would gank at this well, a lot of horde would gank at this flight point because uh lions usually land here i have to find the flight guy though 
There is a griffin one. I don't know where he is. Yeah, there he is. Okay, we'll go over here. We'll have a chat with him. We'll unlock this flight point. Greetings. New flight path discovered. So let's go to Cargath. Pay five silver. Go back to Cargath. And we'll, I think we're going to make Cargath our home. For now. Might as well. See what's going on there. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I like this, uh, I like the Searing Corch. It's a good zone. Came in here not expecting much, but... Well, I felt that there was going to be some type of PvP because Blackrock Mountain. But I didn't, I thought it would mostly be sit level 60s ganking me. And I did get ganked by a level 60 hunter, but... Majority of the fights were actually against, uh, Alliance around my level. Yeah, it's a pretty quick flight from Car Searing Gorge to well, Thorium Point to Cargath. Probably do this flight uh, quite often now that we have the flight point. So here we go, flying in. Got so uh, clearly this is obviously where the horde hang out. This is where we all the horde group up to go to Black Rock Mountain. Look at this multi boxer. He's going to ruin some raid stays. Looks like they're trying to summon. But here we are back at home in Cargath. All nice and safe for now. But that is the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.